Morning, sir. Morning. Morning, sir. How are you all? Hope I didn't push you too hard. Uh, just enough, I'd say. <laughs> Catching up on duties. Got done sharpening. Good. Hey, make sure we have someone on lookout. I don't want to get uh, jumped by orcs. <clears throat> Lieutenant. Back about the gate, sir. Not too bad. <clears throat> been a while since I've been That's in the rough, good, but yeah. I won't complain. How are you and your men? Mm. Holding up. Like you said, some of them will go up into the towers to make sure we don't get hit by orcs. Good. Very good. <clears throat> Any news from the town? Or Nordis province, I should say. Oh, proper. Mm, not really. I haven't heard <clears throat> anything of late. Not surprising. Bureaucracy? Yeah. All the other nobles are probably still hung over from <laughs> last night's ball, I'd imagine. <clears throat> mm, that's right, there was one, wasn't there? Yes. That's a waste of time, if you ask me. <laughs> That's why I'm here. I'd rather spend it with you guys. Truthfully. <laughs> well, we appreciate it. <laughs> Especially after some of us survived that whole embassy hold. <sighs> yeah. That was the whole thing. You guys are miraculous for that. Where are your standings with the men? How do you feel about them? How's training? Mm, most of them are... Mm, training's going fine. Most of them... are... well, new, shall we say. Right. Although, <clears throat> a good portion of them did serve under you, so... If you're... wondering about loyalty... You don't have to go far for it. Huh. Never question the loyalty of this group of people, at least. You know... <laughs> small council meeting, they tried to take you guys away from me. How am I not surprised? <laughs> They've been trying to remove power from the Erhards for a while, I suppose. But, um... No. I wasn't gonna let that happen. I wasn't gonna put you guys in the hands of some prissy noble who doesn't know how to handle you. Well, we appreciate that. Mm. It's a habit for me to watch every angle. <clears throat> Ah, trust me, I know. And about the camp, um, I asked to make sure it was all ship shape. I know we don't really have a lot to work with here, but it's been abandoned for a while. I wanted to make sure there weren't any entry points that we didn't know about or <clears throat> supply issues or whatnot. If you let me know anything that we did come across. Patched up. Mm -hmm. mm. <clears throat> Walls are all good. We made sure that everything was reinforced. Spaces that could be viable, we dug pits. Fantastic. So, careful where you step. <laughs> I will be. Um, supply issues. Do you need more tents? Should we have more rations of food here? Grindstones, whetstones, anything like that? <clears throat> mm, for the most part, we have everything we need. Mm. No, we're not holding against the siege, so... No. We don't need to have reserves for that long. Also, a few of the soldiers bring their own stones. Good. I like that. Mm, a few of them are scouts. So they're out there for a while. They have to sharpen some. Uh -huh. Good. Hmm. <sighs>
Well, this is not a bad morning. <clears throat> True. I definitely acquired a one. <laughs> well, after what we did last night and everything we well, I put you guys through, we could use a quiet morning. <clears throat> How are the horses? Seem to be in good condition, as I said, could use a bit of a clean, but... Everything seems to be in order. Good. <clears throat> Been through hell and back, just like us. There they have. I nearly lost mine the other day, actually. Oh, that's not good. Ah, lucky shot, but he's alright. He's a strong bastard. Aren't you, buddy? <laughs> he's happy to get out of the keep. I already gave him an apple. You're That's spoiling okay, him. <laughs> of course, it's fine. <laughs> Just don't be surprised if he likes you more than me. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> morning. So, morning. Mind if Anything I... I can get for you? I'm just gonna borrow some of this water. If that's okay. All yours. Oh. <laughs> Go right there. <clears throat> I was just making sure we had enough stock back here. How okay, are we doing? Too fine, though. Do we need to send a requisition order? Hmm. Not quite yet. Another day or two, we'll need it, though. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. When I head back, hopefully today, hmm. I'll, um... Send in an order. Hmm. Sounds good. Not often you spend the night with us. Something bad about to happen <clears throat> that we should be aware of? God, I hope not. Hmm. <laughs> no, I think it was primarily to get me out of this ball that was happening with the other nobles. Not really my kind of thing. I'd much rather be down here with you guys, truthfully. <clears throat> Lucky you. <laughs> Sorry for everyone else who had to go to that hill. Eh, uh, well, you know. Rubbing shoulders, not really Food my probably thing. probably wasn't bad, though. Yeah. Great deal. Would have been nice, but again. Still not worth it. I'm really tossing it up. I can't stand some of the other numbers <laughs> between you and me. Makes sense. Fair enough. <clears throat> you need anything to eat? Or are you I think, good? I think I'm okay for now. I might swing by later if I don't get picked up within the next couple of hours or so. Sure. Appreciate it. Mm. It's too still warm, so. Sir, we have, uh, three carts coming this way. Come over here. Are they marked? Good. Um. Mm. What are their colors? I see... Shit. Some Imperial men. I believe... Is it this How many you think? Some Rodon. Get ready for weaponry, just in case. Um. Keep your crossbows up on the walls. <clears throat> Not like this. Keep those ready. There's four of them, sir. Four carts. How many people? Uh, quite a few numbers. Looks like a mix. <clears throat> Radards, Imperials. Looks like a few mercenaries as well. Sounds of the carriages grow louder by the moment as you hear them moving closer to this very gate. Have they turned down our path yet? Just be ready. I'm sure it's fine. Very well. LT with me. <clears throat> Hold the formation, we'll keep a line. Open the gates. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Can't hold here. Understood. How can I help, Goatsman? I am here on official business. On behalf of the Baroness of the Rodot Dynasty, I am here. To apprehend 
a fugitive from justice by the name of Lord Kyler Erdhart. He is to be brought into our custody and brought for questioning, effective immediately. A fugitive? That is the terms of the bounty on your head, my lord. <laughs> I have a bounty now. Bounty. Yes, <clears throat> a bounty issued this morning by the Baroness herself for the murder of the head scribe and tax assessor of the Radad dynasty last night. I was here the entirety of the night. You can ask any of my men. Yes, and I'm sure your soldiers would vouch for that. However, we have indications that your father may not be so innocent. As such, you are required for questioning, and we must bring you in now. No questions. As is said, Lord Kyler Earhart, you hear the sh shuffling of plates behind you, the movement of chain, crossbows preparing, men and women resting, weapons at their sides. The men in front of you, perception check. They seem with a nine <clears throat> to be sincere in their duties. It is a joint force. Mercenaries making up the bulk of it. Imperial riflemen and Radad soldiers. <clears throat> I will gladly answer a summons by the Baroness, but I will not be apprehended. Perhaps, if I provided you evidence, my lord. Of course. The officer produces a scroll. The seal is already broken, is of the Radad bird. You open it, <clears throat> you see soft writing that says the following. The Lord Marshal Arnulf Erdhart is hereby wanted for acts of sedition, treason, and murder. His son, Kyler Erdhart, is to be apprehended immediately and placed under arrest and brought back to the castle forthwith under the protection of the Radad dynasty for questioning Interrogation. At the bottom you see a signature. Mefru Redot. If I choose to stay. But I'm afraid, my lord, you will have to be taken by force. And I'm sure no one here wants that. <clears throat> no, you're right. Allow me a moment to speak with my men. I'll be right back. Very well. Shut the gates. Yes, sir. A moment of tense, quiet conversation between the two sides. Thirty strong, easy. <laughs> You'd be barred for the rest of <laughs> Nautilus. You would understand that, right? You cannot be serious about giving yourself over to them. <clears throat> what other choice do I have? I'd be dooming all of you. Proof do they have? I would have to assume that this is done legally. 
And if my Still. father did flee and he didn't get me, he needs me there for some reason. Then the answer is, what do you wish of us? <sighs> for now, stay here. Garrison this place. Keep it airtight. Don't open it for anyone other than my father, myself, or anyone of my retinue. Mm. Understood, my father. Understood. Understood. But this seems like a trap. <clears throat> Probably. Every soldier in this camp can identify you being here all night. You know this. They know you're loyal to me. They wouldn't trust your judgment. Mm. That's because they've never fought, have they? Most of them haven't. They're not like us. We have to do this right. Give, you, give your command. We'll die for you. You know this. Hi. My lord. Hi. I know. You've proven strong. that point. 30 strong. We can take them. You have survivors from when we fought with your father in that embassy. You know we can do this. <clears throat> I have no doubt, but there's also Imperial men there. If we attack Imperials, that will only bring down the, the rest of them that are here. And then it's a running fight. I'd rather understand what's going on, and then we can position ourselves better because of it. You look at each and every single face in front of you, Kyler. All of them ready for you to give the word. And many more within the camp as well. But your word is law. And it will either be to fight or to stand down. What you do here decides everything. I have to believe that if my father didn't come to get me when he made this move, it means he wants me here, he wants me there. If this is true, if he has fled, then he needs someone in there to act on his behalf, to vouch for him, to fix whatever this issue is. He's not a murderer. We all know this. That person has to be me. Stay here with the rest of the men. Garrison, if I send a raven, more instructions will be there. Is that agreeable? Understood. <clears throat> As you wish. <sighs> okay. Back to your duties. Haven't eaten today yet, have you? No. And as you stand here, gonna throw you an apple. You will go. Thank you. Don't do anything too rash. Very well, Your voice is sliding, my lord. <clears throat> is he? How's that? Good, my lord. All right, you heard him. Back on the wagons. Everyone, round up. You keep them safe. I will. After you, Godsman. Close the gate. I appreciate your forthrightness, my lord. But no if I may, should. just offer one piece of advice. For all our sakes, don't try to run. We're having us watch the mittens when we get back. I need to let him know what I saw. Alright, turn these wagons around. Murder, though. 
I only drink this. I only drink the Tom Black Night Lux. I think I'm going to lose it. Lord, if you could uh, stay towards the center of the formation. Sure. I was, uh, yeah, getting out of the way.
Looks in the back. Gun in this wagon. Lead car, move on. They're empty. Move. Find the cars. Dismount. Face that way. It is weapons. Do not resist, my lord. Any hidden weapons you want to make this easier? Open the gate! Open it up. You'll be bound <clears throat> by hand and foot. <sighs> Alright, take him to his cell. Come on, let's go. Come on. Gonna get the paperwork for take inventory of his stuff. Yeah, I'll take care of that. And drop off his sword. Got yeah, his sword. <laughs> Anything else that's removed from him will be documented and put in in evidence. <laughs> You want to keep his arms bound for now? It's up to the custode. Or the sergeant. Sir, you want to keep his arms bound? Is he already locked up? Mm -mm. Then take the sharp sword. <coughs> we have the inventory of, of stuff knife. that was on his person written down. Step forward. record. Keep Put this it up in the office. Secure, understood? No mix-ups. Appreciate it. No yes, mix -ups. <laughs> Straight to the Casode. Very good. Alright. Who's going to be on watch then? <coughs> I, have to I can take the first to. watch if no one else wants to. Yeah. Go for Very it. Good. I'll let them know what's going on. It's absolutely the right move. Even if it is the case, it would be... He'd be sentencing his men to his, it's their death. As was stated, they don't have supplies, they're not built for a siege, he can't rally to Arn because he doesn't know where he is. Someone will be by to question you shortly, my lord. In the meantime, just... Sit tight. <laughs> Thanks, Godsman. Yes. And like you said, if Arn was 
wanting him to do an offensive action. He assumes that he would have come past to pick him up and his men so they could rally. So in Kylo's mind, this is where Arn wants him. <clears throat> he has to believe that Kylo can position himself in a way that can help Arn, because otherwise it looks like the Urhards are... I mean, you'd be burning anything they had in the province, essentially. <clears throat> but it's good he saw reason and wisdom. <clears throat> it just seems unusual that we're Thank God they gave me rogue energy. It was another person we're after. <sighs> <clears throat> hey, we were already due to kill. <laughs> Not for the rest. For some reason. But in the heat of the moment. <clears throat> he still goes lock picks on him. If push comes to shove, he can just bide his time and sneak his way out. <clears throat> Go back to his men. But he needs to know what's what's going on. He needs to be here to like represent the Urhards. Especially not the young lord. Don't quite believe it yet. Is it true what I've heard about the uh, small council meetings that they get quite heated? They don't get that much patrol in the streets. <laughs> yes, they do. Not to the point of threatening each other with uh, harm, of course, but... Uh... I mean, if the meetings weren't going their way... Someone was being a big sort on the side, I'd... Yeah, and uh, Kyla knows that he has a lot of the popular support. <clears throat> comes to a trial or anything we'll see it's so the noble it's the nobles that are the issue <clears throat> I think the interrogators here may be here now hmm. sir do me a favor and bring the good lord out here <clears throat> Have a seat. Get out of his way. <clears throat> Do you know why you've been taking him to custody? I've heard I'm a fugitive because of something my father supposedly did. Yes, well, in most families, all sorts of politics run deep, and <clears throat> assume something so ornate was pulled off by one man is highly unbelievable and improbable. Of course, one could understand why a man like the Lord Marshal would be sort of influence he has over the military mothers of state his actions might call his son's ability to do the same and to question <laughs> i suppose i don't know what his actions were you'll have to forgive me <clears throat> so you don't know what it is that your father the lord marshal has been uh, accused of doing no There was a gathering of nobles yesterday evening, all the way into the early hours of the morning. It was a ball to celebrate the ends of hostility and the ends of the civil war here in Notis. Mm -hmm. Everything seemed to be going just as well. And then a couple of the guests, some of the dancers, some of the nobles, some of the servants witnessed <clears throat> a very heavy argument that almost became um, violent between the Lord Marshal and the head scribe, the tax assessor. <clears throat> there are well over 12 witnesses, both lowborn and high, confirming, and they said, and I quote, that it may not be here and now, but eventually... You will get what you deserve. Mark my words. About a half hour passes. 
The Lord Marshal disappears from the ball. The head scribe is nowhere to be seen, separated from his guard. He is later found murdered, having been stabbed and thrown over the railing down into the courtyard. The Lord Marshal was the only person seen coming from that hallway. There was no one else. Guards were posted to keep an eye on things. <clears throat> when asked, the Lord Marshal insisted this was not the case, and rather than be arrested, drew his weapon, along with his consort or his knight. They assaulted several of the guardsmen attempting to apprehend them. I believe one died of his wounds. Several more were killed at the forge itself when his men would not stand down. He ignored the warrant for his arrest <coughs> and fled the law. As it stands, your father is accused of sedition and um, treason, murder, attempted murder, and various other odds and ends nowhere near as important as the main charges. Okay. Are you aware of any reason that your father, the Lord Marshal, would have to kill the head scribe? He's not a murderer. He wouldn't do it. But this is all very well and good. You are biased. Mm -hmm. What we do know is there has been quite a bit of activity from the Erhards over in Casedo. A great deal of talking with the nobles there, <clears throat> dealing with some of the issues for the dynasty, and one can not help but nod at this work, but it is also an excellent way to build connections. The Lord Erhard was very angry and upset about some of the taxes that were being pulled from Casedo and has been outed as having brought it up times, both within councils and outside of it, with a very vehement response. His behaviors and interactions with others, with a paper trail of reports, leave no room for error. On more than one occasion, he made it very clear that this man would be better off disappearing than anything else. <clears throat> it is well known that your father and yourself spearheaded dealing with the Capitano against the Baron the Mem's wishes in a most clandestine manner. It should not be hard to see why you are on the chopping block. Do you know where your father has gone? No. That is very hard to believe, Lordling. <laughs> Trust me, I'd like to know where he is too. <clears throat> he was last seen by the cross keys having sought treatment for wounds from the local nurse, and then fled towards the river and out of sight of the scouts. You have no idea where he could have gone or why? No, no idea. Again, I wasn't with him, I was with my men. This is the first I'm hearing Warman. of all of this. The QRF force, yes. Hmm. As it stands right now, uh, Lord, 
I have been instructed to get answers out of you by any means necessary. You understand this? I do. Hmm. Bring him upstairs. Secure his arms and his legs. And Corporal, get some answers before I come back. Don't kill him. Yes, sir. So you sure you don't know where your father is, hmm? I haven't the foggiest idea. Mm. I'd be there with him if I was. Grab me some tools, hmm? No secret base. Is it secret enough that I don't know about it? And you're sure? Positive. I know you have a bias in your little uh, gathering. Not like we notice a few of your uh, friends. on the table. If you don't give me the answers, I'll have to use less civilized mannered methods to get you to talk. <clears throat> so listen. <laughs> Tell me where your father is. Hmm? I'm all about civilized. I don't know. He killed the tax assessor. He had described, if you know. He Suspected had his hands too. in. Would, mm. would he have his hands in printing silver? But he have a hand in what? I mean, he already sees the iron mines. Printing silver. Laundering silver in. No, what? We have the only sure? forge in town. You First can check it for any notice? presses. Oh, that, yes, we already have. Your little abode has been ravaged. Turned upside down. But the first person to know if, you know, your father and you were getting silver, you know, well, it would be the tax assessor. Quite quickly, might I add. Good person to frame him, too. <laughs> it's no secret your father needs a lot of silver. For the war back home. It would be the perfect opportunity. Hmm? Don't you think? If he were a dishonest man, your CEO himself said he has a paper trail a mile long that you can follow. All our funds are legitimate. Nice. I could also see why he would do it. I mean, if we're talking hypotheticals... Are you printing... I mean, 
You mean to tell me that randomly throughout this week he gets house guards? Majority in full plate, might I add, enough to kill eight of our men as he fled. We only killed a three. three? Men that well trained. Where is the silver coming from? The exact successor would be the first to know practically almost immediately. If we tried to do anything, it'd be a good good way to get rid of him first, you know? Mm, wouldn't that seem really obvious? Everything though? leads... <laughs> Your father ran. Drew his blade. And ran. I'm sure he wasn't given a choice. If he was not... <laughs> he would have stood down along with his consort or knight, whoever she was. Are you sure you're not telling me the truth, young lord? I am telling you the truth. I'll give you a few minutes. Jog your mind of anything. Downstairs, we'll give the, the young lord a bit of breathing room. Right. Try to remember anything. I will rack my brain. I better have my answers, if not.
He's prepping himself for torture. <laughs> oh, my back. Yeah, the way he sees it, like, this is where Arn wants him to be. If he didn't, he would have rallied him. <laughs> so he's gonna grit his teeth and bear with it. And he's telling the truth. Yeah, <laughs> Scazavir shows up. No, this is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be something. <clears throat> yeah, I think this was the only real choice he could have made. If he runs, or if he was to fight, it would have been dooming the Erhards, confirming whatever suspicions anyone had. They need something, someone here to represent. At least in Kyla's mind. That's why he believes Arn didn't <clears throat> rally him. And then guilty man run. Yeah, but fucking Arn run. The only issue that Kyle is wrestling with is while he's here, they essentially have him as a hostage. <clears throat> and they can make Arn stand down. So he needs to handle this shit first, get himself free, and make it apparent that he's not a hostage. And then he can start helping Arn. He's just trying to mentally bear himself for torture. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I gave you a few moments, young lord. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Did you take that breather? Did you well, clear your head to give me my answers? I've decided. You say this. You see, he's rolling out various pouches of tools and instruments. Some look like scalpels. Others look like knives of a larger sort. Some jagged. Some not. Decided I'm going to tell you the whole truth as I know it. And what is that? Hmm? Everything I've told you before. You see him take out a dark green vial and put a syringe through the cork. You know malice when you see it. It would be a shame, young lord. I get it. Loyalty and love. Your father is admirable. But you do not want to pay for his crimes. Quite well equipped for a guardsman. You see that the syringe is a little lighter than you'd expect. It must be mixed with something. If you had to guess. Makes you think back to things Victor has said, and perhaps it's been shared. Something to cause pain, but not death. I heard that was illegal. As you say this, the syringe comes closer to your neck, and the facade of kindness drops, mm -hmm. and the guardsman demands his answers. It almost is pricking your skin. What I want to know, hmm? Did you have a hand in it? Where's your father? How long have you been printing silver, hmm? Right under our noses? Since it's been since the Capitano, hmm? You wanted to get rid of him first? Yeah, that's it, isn't it, hmm? didn't have a hand in what happened. I don't know where my father is, and I don't know what you're talking about with printing silver. I feel a heavy prick as a needle enters your skin, and just as he's about to push his thumb down, you hear the door slam open downstairs. Better hide that, Gosman. My Baroness. My Baroness. I stand, but... I would like the room to myself. And him, please. If you like him on shackles, ma'am. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Yes. Yes. You must understand the reason why they were so forward. I do. 
I just, uh, didn't realize we'd dabbled in using malice in interrogations, my lady. Must have been one of the guards, and not the custode. I wouldn't suspect him as such. I have a couple of questions for you, and you have to answer them honestly. Absolutely. Did your father do this? I wasn't there. I don't think he would, though. He's never been one for this sort of stuff. You know this. He's an honorable man. Murder is... abhorrent to him. If he did do this... And I will say, if he did, would he have told you and had you a part of any of his plans? I would have to assume so. If he was truly doing hostile actions against the dynasty, he would not purposely leave me here. He would ask me to rally to him. That would mean my barrenness. Faith in the law, as you said. Can I trust you with everything that you are telling me? Absolutely. All right, then. You're not tied down anywhere else, are you? You can hold your chains. No. Your orders, Benin. my baroness. He is free. Your home will be reinstated to you. Your father's property. Thank you, my Baroness. <clears throat> Make sure those guards downstairs move those barricades for him so he is able to return. My you command. My man, Tiberius, I saw he was also in chains. Was he brought he was in here with you? Apprehended by Lady Baroness early in the morning. It was I determined see. he had no connection. Then he must be free to go as well. <clears throat> Thank you. There is a lot to say about your father and the way that he keeps himself. But for now, I will keep that to myself. Thank you for being honest. Of course. If anything is to arrive, any news, bring it to the custody. Absolutely. I very much like to clear and his name back if possible. To you as well. Yes. My station. If the Lady Baroness would prefer, 
the soldiers I trust will make sure he returns to his estate when you are finished. I would very much like that, yes. <clears throat> no more of this issue of guards taking things out of hand. I, um, don't mean to be forward. I'd like to know the position of my station, my lady. Your father's title will not be handed to you. You are still a noble. But at this moment, is without position. I understand. However, the QRF will be still under your command. You honor me. Thank you. You have shown promise with knowing uh, compassion with these men that I'd remember you deserve that position and keep being honest with us Absolutely. is there anything else that you would like to tell us or anything at all I wish I knew. I've only just heard about all of this. I'm completely in the dark. Then, Baroness, may I share the one thing we know that the others do not? Yes. <clears throat> Some of the guards that I trust saw another figure, one clad in all black with a dagger. They escaped through the servants' tunnels and drove the wagon out of the front gate. They killed several. But the dagger they were seen with matched the wounds on the tax assessor himself. Uh, forgive me, does this not shift blame from my father? We feel it does. Yes, that is why we are having this conversation. Still need some convincing up in the keep, I assume. Unfortunately, my sons and a few other nobles have a different view on things. Even if I am the Baroness, I have been out of commission for a little bit. Speaking of my lady, I wish to return you before they notice your disappearance. Yes. Make sure that he is brought back safely by people that you trust. <clears throat> you too. Before they realize... I, um, I haven't had the chance yet, but I wanted to extend my condolences for Woslin. He was a good man, and I'm sorry I couldn't help. We will get you to your escort shortly. Thank you.
I think so. I see. Custode. Custode. You will escort the Lord Erhard back to his property. It will be done. Be ready to be safe. Have his items been returned to him? Yes. Correct. Your horse will be brought to you separately. Thank you. Avoid attention. You got it from here. Oh shit, he's got like, his fucking oh, is that spear one? thing on. You think they're gonna cut his head off? Oh, Lord, Custode. We do. Oh, oh, no, 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 fucking straight and kidding me? Doesn't seem to be restrained to think anything fine. I saw Tiberius was similar to Mount, but I think I put it out here in case he's got those things. Yes. Oh, he stole them. Fuck, you're right. Shit, never mind. The custody? <coughs> Sir. The Baroness has reinstated the Lordling. His estate is to be returned to him. Move this out of the way. I heard once, Custode. <sighs> here, get the other end here. Yeah, the cordon will continue until the rest of the bodies have been dealt with. All right, up. Oh. <clears throat> yep, on you. One, two, three. <clears throat> Get out of the way here. Yeah. Thank you. Are we to begin allowing the custodians to start uh, moving the bodies? Yes. Allow the Lord time to gather the belongings off of the house retinue. We will do the same for our soldiers. Nice. With your permission, I'd like pious for my men. I'd like to make them, I should say. Mm. Of course. I would speak to the woodcutter. Thank you. And soon. 
We're done here, soldiers. Maintain the cordon throughout the day. Yes, sir. On and off. Hi, Kishore. Start gathering our uh, our people. Yeah. We'll put them in that corner. <sighs> As you come inside, you can see everything has been gone through. Things pulled out of shelves, things categorized, stacked, likely counted. Every nook and cranny searched through. You can see the rugs thrown to the side, the trap door wide open. Everything has been searched. Coming upstairs, you see both doors to private quarters wide open. Things searched through, books pulled off of shelves and stacked, almost as if every single one was opened. Come over to your compartment, and it seems this was missed. Again, the other room you can see is door has been breached open with the lock in the way. Most things have been unpacked, ransacked, categorized. As you walk upstairs, you turn the corner to your father's study, and it is a madhouse. It looks like someone took the time to read every parchment, every letter, every note, every book. It's been searched through. Every single cabinet lies open. The interior is untouched. Okay. <sighs> <clears throat> He's gonna write a note for Crenshaw. You're gonna walk, Kyler? He's writing a note for Crenshaw to find him when he returns from whatever he's doing. He's gonna stamp it with the Looking around this building, you don't think any of them are here. No sign of Orlena, no sign of Crenshaw, no sign of Arn, no sign of the house guard. There were four dead, but all the horses are gone, including Crenshaw's and Orlena's. You look towards the supply room, you realize a lot of the crates are opened. A lot of the supplies were taken. Everything large and heavy was left behind, but lighter rations, medical supplies. What could be grabbed was taken and they ran. Did the uh, upstairs door seem intact enough like it's not a security risk it also has been busted open because it is locked
back door as well. This one broken outward, considering the reinforcement of the door. He's going to start look moving around, the bodies you together. The loose items of the ground that look like that they're part of yours are lined up on the table thanks to some of the street sweepers. But you'll be able to do what you want. <clears throat> yeah, he's lining up the bodies. He's taking them down to their... He's taking off their armor and he's going to line them up in preparation for a burial. Do you need assistance, my lord? If you don't mind, help me move the bodies of my men. Alright, we've taken care of ours that are over here. Where would you like to place them? Line mine up there, if you don't mind. I need to requisition their equipment. Aye. If you don't mind sending for the woodcutters as well. I can uh, get a hold of another guard, I can do that. Please do. <laughs> a cat? <clears throat> ground is slick with blood. Collects in rivulets, the cracks in the ground and depressions in the dirt. What's your business here? I do work around. Didn't know if there was anything with smoke that needed help with. If you could go and fetch the woodcutters for us, for their hearts, that would be appreciated. Do you know where they are? Mm. <sighs> Cordon off, you're going to have to go that way. But, uh. Alright. You need to go that way, take the road left, and then just before you exit the gates, there's another pathway that comes down this back this way. The woodcutters are there at the opening in the wall. I'll go fetch mm. more water. Hey. Okay. Thanks, man. Man, I'm like shaking. <laughs> if it's any consolation, my lord. <clears throat> You and your father have a lot of friends in town. 
I speak very highly of all of you. I appreciate that, though it doesn't help with false accusations. No, but it does help with the investigation. <sighs> yeah. No idea how we're going to help with any of that. The Royal Guards are a little zealous. <sighs> That's an understatement. <laughs> and unfortunately, so what are the spooked nobles at the time? <laughs> They've been looking for a chance <sighs> to do something like this. Let's not sugarcoat it. I, perhaps, I know he wasn't necessarily popular, but uh, as an old man in a profession where men die young, like your father is, like I am, men like us don't do things without reasons, nor do we do things in the way they happen. <sighs> Murder's not his forte. the sixth person to tell me the exact same thing. <laughs> you would think that reputation would mean something. I would think, hold on, miss. To see one of yours, sir. What do you need, Aka? Not now. You can see he is taking armor off of corpses. familiar with him in close. You're welcome. Make it brief. Let's are helping him. That's what I'm here for. Hi, you may. May I offer my assistance? Go ahead. You see he is taking the uh, hard armor off of these corpses. How many are left? I don't know how many are left, but we lost four. Good men. <laughs> Only we're defending the right people. Yeah. I'll get this done so you don't have to think about it. Just um, help me move this armor inside, if you don't mind. I don't suppose you know anything, do you? Probably nothing that you haven't already been told or found out yourself, but I can fill in blanks wherever I can. What are the current rumors? <laughs> that your father fled the keep after murdering the head scribe, after an argument. He did so with himself and the Lady Orlena late into the night after collecting men from here and exiting. Okay. Do you know where Venora is? I also... She's currently inside of the apothecary, from my knowledge. I'm going to guess you're going to ask her where he is. 
Yes. I don't blame you. Have you heard about what actually happened, or what might have actually happened? Do you know? From one of the dancers that was there, but... We're trying to make sure that anybody that's associated with that in particular incident isn't taken care of. Because <clears throat> if people are using this as a stepping stone to gain more power or undermine you, we don't want them in any harm's way. Thanks. Keep it brief. The... Lord Erhart was seen arguing with the head scribe before he was found murdered. And once the news was brought out, <clears throat> he was attacked by the guard as the nobles asked, well, I say asked, commanded that he be executed for his crimes. No investigation, no leads. They just wanted him dead. Inside. I am sure there he is. He's coming out. Ah. My lord, the woodcutter, at your, at your request. Thank you. When I heard the lord needed me, I was assuming it was on better terms, but. I understand. I need four pyres constructed by the beach, if you don't mind. Ah. Mm, four pyres. Uh, tonight? Yes, please. Sunset, ideally. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. I brought in my daily supply, but... Four pyres? I have a few logs small. in Are the blacksmith. Talking? For a man. Four each. Or well, four in total. Four logs each? Hmm. Right. Uh, it could be done. Has verified that. That is a silver 20 cent. Not tampered with or broken sure. into. It is a clean scene. So Gives I'm, you a silver I'm 50. Using permission to use it freely, as long as he does not open the door. All right. The barricades. On the It'll be done. Do the best you can. Hi. Thank you. Hi. All right. <laughs> Stepping out for a bit. Shall we start removing the barricades or leave them? Leave them be. For now, the custode wants to leave the cordon up, but we leave this one open. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, you leaving already? Oh, Lord, didn't Sorry, I guess I call you at a bad Good time. Day. Come on, go. Need to find Venora. Understood. She's the apothecary. If I think. Are you all right? Thank you, you for allowing me to house. assist. The way do you think you're being watched? Somewhat. I figured. If you have need anything of my expertise, just let me know. I appreciate it. Always. May not immediately be available. She's in the back, but you know, just give her a moment. All right. I think if anyone knows how to handle sensitive information, it's Kyler. But if his father left him behind, there may be cause. Okay. How are you two? A certain Unfazed. Lord oh, is here. untouched. For you. Speak of the damn devil. <coughs> Mostly. Everyone's silly knows he's safe. Maybe if he's requested. Hello, Lord Earnhardt, how you doing? <laughs> That's a loaded question if I've ever heard one. I need you to find my dad. Uh, He's not would you like would you like to come behind or you want me to say it openly? Upstairs. 
Go upstairs. Go yeah. upstairs. We'll just maintain appearances down here. Oh. Hmm, exactly. <coughs> Lisa downstairs. She <clears throat> She's just watching out. Don't try and make it obvious like you're standing guard. Just going to say that. Besides, no one's allowed up there sure. without my safety. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing I can tell you is that it came, uh, some people in purple and gold came close to the river, straight towards, like a straight shot towards the mountains, and then I lost sight of them. So the m mountain region? Project. That could be anywhere up there. I don't. I don't know. They're still within the province. But... Ah, you refer to that. All right. If you can hone in uh, with your yeah. tree sense, or way. if your scouts end up that yeah, way, or if you can talk to Galeel and get his scouts up that way, please do. See if you can find Simple him. Thing, but okay. I need to know where he is. Is there any mess? Okay, that's all you want. You're not sending any message or anything like that. You Once just I want know to know. Where he is, I can send a message. <clears throat> this can definitely work. Is Very well, my lord. Uh, I will definitely. I'll do it when I'm out there because I can get a better pinpoint of it, and hopefully, Galil or someone will be nearby or can come with me. All right. Thank you. Um. Do you trust uh, me to give? I won't write it down or anything, but I'll give the information to Galil to come back to give to you if I'm stuck out there or something. Sure. Or do you want me to just make the trip back out and see you directly? I trust Galil. It's up to you. Okay. Good. Right. But this has to stay between. But if us. I don't see, I think this can work. I know. I have If I see, if I see. Galil, or if I don't, then I will come back and bring it directly to you then. Thank you. Okay. Mm, no problem. I learned from one of the greatest artists. <laughs> Lucky. Oh. And I did tell the, the guards that we just did business with you and your father, and that's about it. As far as my concern. Don't talk to the guards. I oh, know. Hmm. Um, it's just a missive to his QRF to let them know that he's okay. Very good. Um, <laughs> the birds probably aren't here, I would assume. It is likely that one has been purposely left in the same place you've always seen them.
but you don't know where it's gonna go. Yeah. Probably scared shitless. Fuck. Okay. Could use out what's actually going on. But if the Baroness reinstated the young lord, then. There goes a chance that she may hear out the elder. Do you require my assistance with anything else? <sighs> Only if you can get me a messenger. I need to send a missive, but my birds are gone. How good of one do you need? Just a jaunt down the road. Really, it could just be anyone. Hmm. I've sent letters before, but I'm not exactly sure how ravens work. The ones that I was using are down by the vineyard, and I... Hmm. Let's give it to a dude on a horse. I'll see what I can figure out. Yeah. <laughs> Need help with anything? Well, I need to get a missive to my people, my men. Hmm. Well... There's plenty of carriers around, uh, though. Confidential ones, I do not know. Uh, Could just go by man. There is the... There is the courier that works with the mercenaries building. He delivered a couple of letters before. That would be perfect. Eridos? I'll see if I'm able to find him or not. I can't remember his name. Elvin. The Elf. Letters. Yes. He's... He's one of my... Well... Associates. I do not know where he is, though. I've not seen him today. But he can't be trusted, though. So he can't be trusted? He can be. I trust him. Well, if you see him, let him know that I'm looking for him. Mm, sure. I'm sure he'd be delighted to pass on a letter if I'm not. Is this fucking joke? Have nobility retained, correct? I do. Uh, no, I don't think so. Nothing? I'm all good. Okay. Thank you. Mm, good. All right. Have a great day, then. Yeah, you too. Uh, are you alright? Still kicking. Uh, hey, give me. Tight. Indeed. Markle Morgan. Uh, Not Queen. Markle, that's your name. Right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. so we wanna, uh, you're, you're good at business, right? <sighs> sure. We want to double check if his prices are okay. Are you looking for Melon? The craziest yeah. woman there is in fucking town. She might Morning, Tootie. Want an orange? Training. No, thanks. Morning. Okay. That way. She'll be just outside. I'm sure the farm looks after you. I'm sorry, an old bearded man, but no, he's just sitting on a stool. Yeah, that's more than reasonable. <sighs> Fine. Fine, give him the fuck going. Okay, here, yep. Here, hold it over. Head copper. Hold on to that, we'll get more coins for you soon. How much is this? Whatcha doing? Looking for a courier. Oh. Need something? Haven't seen. Uh, no. I was just... Lingering around you in case you needed something. Sarah said they keep an eye on you, so I'm here. Is this the Merc Guild? Yes. Shinfo. Oh, uh, hello. Oh. Good morning. Uh, good morning. I was hoping Hi. to uh, leave a missive to be sent out next time your courier's in the area. Oh, sure. 
he keeps his stuff over this way. Hold on. At the not far. At the sure. Far. Da, 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 da. This paper. 